Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the values of a and b that make f continuous everywhere. So we have f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 if x is less than 2. It's equal to ax squared minus bx plus 3 if x is between 2 and 3. And it's equal to 2x minus a plus b if x is greater than or equal to 3. And so we have a rational function and two polynomials. And what we can say is from theorem 7, um, rational functions and polynomial functions they are continuous over their domains right not including the endpoints so if x is less than 2 then this function is continuous if x is between 2 and 3 not including 2 this function is continuous, and if x is greater than 3, this function is continuous. So if we want to make f continuous everywhere, all we have to do is pick values of a and b such that it's continuous at x equals 2 and x equals 3, because these are the points where we're jumping from one uh, piece of the piecewise function to the next. And the definition of continuity is that the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals f of a. We can see that for um, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3, in both cases, either the limit from the left or the right is going to be equal to f of a. Right? Here, if x is greater than or equal to 3, that means if it's equal to 3, we're using the same formula as if it's greater than 3. Therefore, the limit from the right is going to be equal to the value of the function. And the same thing here, um, x is greater than 2, or x is equal to 2, you're using the same formula. So if we want to show that the limit as x approaches a from the left equals the limit as x approaches a from the right equals f of a, all we have to do is check that these two are equal because we already know that they're equal to f of a. At least one of them already is. Okay, so we have x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3. So let's start with the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x. So the limit as x approaches 2 of, this is value smaller than 2, so we're going to use x less than 2, x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. We cannot just plug in 2 directly, um, because then we'd be dividing by 0. Luckily, we can factor the numerator, so this is x plus 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 2. x minus 2 is cancel. We have the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 2. Now we can plug in 2 plus 2 equals 4. Then the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. Values greater than 2, we have to use ax squared minus bx plus 3. Uh, and plugging in, that is going to be a times 2 squared, so 4a minus b times 2 minus 2b plus 3. And what we're saying here is that for these, for the function to be continuous here, 4a minus 2b plus 3 has to equal 4. Um, and therefore, 4a minus 2b equals 1. Now we have to try uh, to show continuity at 3. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of f of x is the limit as x approaches 3 of values less than 3. We use ax squared minus bx plus 3. Therefore, we plug in 3. a times 3 squared is 9a minus b times 3 plus 3. And the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of the function using values greater than 3, we can say that the limit as x approaches 3 of 2x minus a plus b, 2x becomes 2 times 3, is 6 minus a plus b. And so we can also say that 9a minus 3b plus 3 equals 6 minus a plus b, again, for the function to be continuous. So if we subtract 3, add a, and subtract b, to both sides, we have cancel, 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 
10a minus 4b equals 3. And so now we're looking for values of a and b. We have two variables, two equations, so therefore we can solve. So the first step is to take the first equation and multiply it by 2. 2 times 4a is going to give us 8a. 2 times negative 2b is going to give us negative 4b. And 2 times 1 is going to give us 2. If we subtract these functions from one another, 10a minus 8a is 2a. Negative 4b minus negative 4b, uh, and something subtracting itself is going to be 0. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. 2a equals 1. Therefore, a equals 1 half. And we know that 4a minus 2b equals 1. So writing that right here, 4a minus 2b equals 1. 4, therefore, 4 times a is 1 half. So 4 times 1 half minus 2b equals 1. 4 times 1 half is 2 minus 2b equals 1. Subtracting 2, negative 2b equals negative 1. Dividing by negative 2, b equals negative 1 over negative 2, which again is 1 half. So the values of a and b that make the functions continuous everywhere are one half for A and B.